Today, we're sharing the fantastic news that GSK has topped the Access to Medicines Index for the eighth consecutive time. This is in recognition of all the actions that we're taking with partners to get ahead of disease together and improve both innovation and access to the medicines and vaccines for the underserved people in 108 lower income countries. So global health is right at the core of our purpose at GSK and all of our ESG leadership is an absolutely key part of who we are, our commitment to doing the right thing and matters so much to all of our people. So Deborah, uh, you are responsible for leading all of our global health at GSK. Tell us what stands out most for you. I think the things that really make me excited are the fact that we are using our incredible science, technology and talent yeah. to really impact the, the areas that matter most, and that is health equity, mm -hmm. HIV, malaria, TB and antimicrobial resistance. So that in its own right is a fantastic chance to really have an impact on global health. We also made a commitment earlier this year, so we are committing £1 billion over the next 10 years um, to global health research and development. And we already have the biggest pipeline of any pharmaceutical company uh, in this area. And that's one of the reasons why we actually are top of the index today. Well, absolutely right, because in the end, this is about the journey to impact and really impacting uh, people's lives. And what I love, I know, is this shared ambition as well as the investment. In terms of those lives impacted, we have this shared ambition for two and a half billion people's health being positively impacted over the decade ahead. And I know that more than half of those people uh, are in lower uh, income uh, countries. And of course, we can't reach them without truly being in partnership and collaborating in terms of driving that access. I know that the innovation that we have is fabulous, but without partnership, we will not be able to bring access to those who are relying on us. And it's the same in the GSK global health world as well. So yes, the partners are sometimes the same and sometimes they're different, but actually country by country, whether you're looking at treatment or prevention, you need to have a tailored approach to really have the impact that you aspire to. And as you've said, that is to impact as a company level, mm -hmm. 2.5 billion people over the next 10 years. Well, listen, this is absolutely fantastic. It's exactly what we mean by getting ahead of disease together for everybody.